The first secret of self-made millionaires is simple. Dream big dreams. While most people spend most of their lives struggling to earn a living, a much smaller number seem to have everything going their way. Instead of just earning a living, the smaller group is busily working at building and enjoying a fortune. Everything just seems to work out for them. And here sits the much larger group, wondering in awe on how life can be so unfair, complicated, and unjust. So what's the major difference between the little group with so much and the larger group with so little? Despite all the factors that affect our lives, like the kind of parents we have, the schools we attended, the part of the country we grew up in, none has as much potential power for doing good as the ability to dream. Dreams are a projection of the kind of life we want to lead. Dreams can drive you. Dreams can make you skip over obstacles. When we allow our dreams to pull us, they unleash a creative force that can overpower everything in our way. To unleash this power, though, your dreams must be well-defined. A fuzzy future has little pull power. Well-defined dreams are not fuzzy. Wishes are fuzzy. To really achieve your dreams, to really have your future plans pull you, your dreams must be vivid. If you've ever hiked a 14,000-foot peak in the Rocky Mountains, one thought has surely come to mind. How did the settlers of this country do it? How did they get from the East Coast to the West Coast? By foot. Carrying one day's supply of food and water is hard enough. Can you imagine hauling all of your worldly goods with you? Mile after mile, day after day, month after month? These people had dreams, big ones. They had ambition. They didn't focus on the hardship of getting up the mountain. In their minds, they were already on the other side. Their bodies just hadn't gotten them there yet. Despite all of their pains and struggles, births and deaths along the way, those who made it to the other side had a single vision, to reach the land of continuous sunshine and extraordinary wealth. To start over where anything was possible, where everything was possible. Their dreams were stronger than the obstacles in their way. You've got to be a dreamer. You've got to see the future finished in advance. You've got to see California while you're climbing 14,000 foot peaks. You've got to see the finish line while you're running the race. You've got to hear the cheers when you're in the middle of a monster project. And you've got to be willing to put yourself through the paces of doing the uncomfortable until it becomes comfortable. Because that's how you realize your dreams. Dreams are what caused thousands of people to leave their homes and families and start over in a land where anything was possible. Don't you sometimes wonder why so many immigrants who come to America can build a new life and a fortune while many of the people who were born here are barely surviving? They have a dream, a defined goal. Allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to imagine and fantasize about the kind of life you would like to live and the kind of money you would like to earn and have in your bank account. All great men and women begin with a dream of something wonderful and different from what they have today. You know the song that says, you have to have a dream if you want to make a dream come true. Imagine for a moment that you have no limitations on what you can be, have, or do in life. Just for the moment, imagine that you have all the time, all the money, all the education, all the experience, all the friends, all the contacts, all the resources, and everything you need to achieve anything you really want in life. If your potential was completely unlimited, what kind of a life would you want to create for yourself and your family? Create a vision for yourself for the long-term future. The more clear you can make your vision of health, happiness and prosperity, the faster you move toward it and the faster it moves toward you. When you create a clear mental picture of where you are going in life, you become more positive, more motivated, and more determined to make it a reality. You trigger your natural creativity and you start to come up with idea after idea to help make your vision come true. There is something about dreams and visions of the future that is exciting and that stimulates you to do and be better than you've ever been before. Success secret number two, develop a clear sense of direction. And the reason is because 
A man's life is not going to be much of an adventure and achievement unless he picks a direction. See, a lot of people work hard on their job, but they don't work hard on their future. They let the plans for their better future slide. They work hard on their job, but not their future. Now, the work involved here is making plans for what you want. So first of all, you've got to set it high, set it important, work on it until those goals become a strong desire. Start working on your goals, whether anybody's there to tell you to do it or not. Do it as a matter of making life an adventure and achievement. If that's what you want, then you start doing this daily, developing what you want. So work on your goals. Develop the plan. Everything is relationships. Virtually all of your problems in life will come as the result of your entering into wrong relationships with the wrong people. All must understand the story of the frog and the scorpion. According to the story of the frog and the scorpion, the story scenario says... The frog and the scorpion appeared on the bank of a river about the same time, and the frog was about to jump in the river and swim to the other side. And along comes the scorpion, and he sees what's about to happen, and he engages the frog in conversation, and the scorpion says to the frog, Mr. Frog, I see that you're about to jump in the river and swim to the other side. And the frog said to the scorpion, that is correct. And the scorpion said, hey, hey, hold it. I would like to get to the other side, but unfortunately I'm a scorpion and I can't swim. Would you be so kind as to let me hop on your back and you swim across the river and deposit me on the other side? I would be grateful. And the frog looked at the scorpion and said, no way. The frog said, you're a scorpion and scorpions sting frogs and kill them. He said, I'd get out there halfway with you on my back and you'd sting me and I'd die. You think I'm crazy? No way. The scorpion said, hey, hey, hold it, hold it. With your frog brain, you're not thinking. <laughs> if I was to sting you out there halfway, sure, you'd die and drown, but so would I, since I'm a scorpion and I can't swim. That'd be kind of foolish. So I'm not about to do that. I just want to get to the other side. The frog thought over that reasoning and said, that makes sense, hop on. And according to the story, the scorpion hops on the frog's back, they start across the river, and sure enough, halfway across the river, the scorpion stings the frog. The frog cannot believe <laughs> what happened. And he said to the scorpion, why did you do that? I'm about to die and drown, but so are you. Why would you do that? And the scorpion said, because I am a scorpion. There are shepherds and there are sheep, and there are wolves, and wise people must understand some wolves are so clever, they've learned to dress up like sheep. Success secret number five, be decisive and action-oriented. One of the marks of self-made millionaires is that they think carefully and then they make decisions quickly. They discipline themselves to take action and to carry out the decisions they have made. They move fast, and they get quick feedback from their actions. If they find they've made a mistake, they quickly self-correct and try something else. The key to triumph is for you to try. Successful people are decisive, and they try far more things than the average person. By the law of probabilities, the law of averages, if you try far more different ways to be successful, the odds are that you will find the right way for you at the right time. Unsuccessful people, on the other hand, are indecisive. They know that they should do or stop doing certain things, but they don't have the character or the willpower to make firm decisions. As a result, they drift through life, never happy, never fulfilled, never particularly successful. They never become wealthy or achieve financial independence. They end up settling for far less than is truly possible for them. Indecision is one of the greatest thieves of opportunity. Indecision will steal you blind. Indecision will rob your bank account. After a while it can become a disease. Indecision can become a disease. 
And pretty soon the guy knows he's got the disease. He says, well, I know I'm on the fence. But he says, what if I get off on the wrong side? Listen, here's the tragedy with sitting on the fence. While you sit on the fence, the clock keeps ticking. And see, a man's life is used up at the tick of the clock. Make the minutes count, make the hours count. That's why you should learn to make decisions as quickly as possible. See, after a while, just get off the fence. It doesn't really matter what side, just get off, right? Because remember, a life full of adventure in achievement is a life full of many decisions. The ones that turn out to be wrong give you better experience to make better decisions. So remember, don't see how many decisions you can get out of. See how many you can get into. Learn to speak. up the decision-making process. It will add years to your life. But when you become decisive, you shift your entire life into high gear. You get far more done in a day than the average person. Ask yourself this. What one action, if I did it immediately, could have the greatest positive impact on my results? Whatever your answer is to that question at any time, just do it. Success secret number six, develop a workaholic mentality. All self-made millionaires work hard, hard, hard. Practice the 40 plus formula. This formula says that you work 40 hours per week for survival. Everything over 40 hours is for success. If you only work 40 hours, and the average work week today is closer to 35 hours, all you will ever do is survive. You'll never get ahead. You'll never be a big financial success. You'll never be highly respected and esteemed by your colleagues. You will always be mediocre if you just work the basic 40 hour week. But every hour over 40 is an investment in your future. In fact, you can tell where you're going to be in five years by looking at how many hours over 40 you put in every week. Always go the extra mile. Remember, there are never any traffic jams on the extra mile. Success secret number seven. Dedicate yourself to serving others. Somebody says, well, I can't be concerned about other people. I have to pay attention to myself. Well, then you'll always have to. Somebody says, I can't be concerned about other people's bills. I've got enough worries trying to pay my own. Well, then you'll have to worry about them for the rest of your life. The best way to get that monkey off your back is to turn your attention around. It says, don't keep your attention on yourself if you want your life to work out well. Turn your attention to others. If you wish to receive, you must give. Some people say, if you give, it's gone. No, no. Not if you're educated. If you're stupid, yes, it's gone. But if you're enlightened, chances are, if you give, you've invested. And what do we expect an investment to do? Return. Get back what you put out? No. We expect it to return multiplied. My father taught me way back. Son, always do more than what you get paid for. Now, some individuals might argue with that. They'd say, no, you're going to mess up the whole program. I know they're wrong. I did what my father taught me to always do more than I got paid for. Why? To make an investment in my future. 
If you're wanting that big promotion, are you going to go up to your boss and say, just give it to me? I'll work harder if you just give me that. promotion. No, it doesn't work that way. You've got to do more in your current position so that you get noticed, so you stand out from everybody else. So the boss says, hey, we've got this position opening up and I think we should give it to Nancy. She does so much more than we expect. Just imagine what she'll do if we give her this promotion. You've got to do more than you're paid for. You've got to. It's an investment in your future. It's one thing to make a sale. I'm telling you, if you make a sale, you'll make a living. If you go beyond making the sale and serve people by keeping in touch, calling them before they call you, writing a thank you note, sales will lead to multiple sales. You can make a fortune if the customer is well taken care of. People who are well taken care of will open doors you can't get through by yourself. All of us have found ways to make a living. What got interesting for me early on was to figure out ways to make a fortune. You'd say, well, Mr. Roan, how would I deserve to make a fortune? It's easy. Render fortunes of service. People will do things you cannot believe for people who give them good service. Here's one of the greatest gifts you can give anybody, the gift of attention. In return, they will do extraordinary things for your career. Take you by the hand and lead you to more people than you could meet by yourself. Always do more than you get paid for. Once I understood some of this stuff, I'm telling you, it revolutionized my whole life.